channel and today is the day that I'm gonna take you guys around my house and show you guys all of my Halloween decorations. Now as most of you guys know that have been following me for a while, you guys know that Brian and I moved into this house back in July. So I did not get out all of my Halloween decorations that I normally put out in the previous years. Um, I will link a few of my other videos um, up here and in the description box below so you guys can go watch those other videos too of how I used to decorate my house when we lived in Georgia. Uh, but now that we moved here, I have a lot more space, but a, a, but less room, if that makes any sense, to kind of like put out some of my decorations that I normally put out. But I was able to pull out quite a few things, and I definitely want to take you guys along and show you guys everything that I put out for this year. Um, it does look good. It definitely, I'm like next year I'm going, I'm going to put like spider webs over here. I'm going to do this next year. It just because I had just pretty much finished unpacking everything. And then all of a sudden it was time to decorate for Halloween. So I was already just kind of beat from having to unpack everything and then having to like unpack the Halloween stuff and decorate the house up with that stuff. But I'm hoping that maybe with Christmas that I might be a little bit different, but um, I'll stop talking and let's go take a look through my house of all of the stuff that I decorated for Halloween. Uh, yeah, let's just go take a look. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get started in the dining room. Right now I'm facing the front doors and as soon as you walk into the doors and you go over to the left, this is the dining room area. And over here on my little sideboard, I just have a couple of pumpkins sitting on here, trick or treat little sign, my little witch's brew, my little witch that I got when I was in Salem last year. So she's an authentic Salem witch, which I absolutely love. I have some pumpkins in a little cauldron, and then I have that on the wall. And over here on my hutch, I just have a display of like different witches potions and a pumpkin patch sign and a couple of Ray Dunn pieces as well. My main centerpiece on my dining room table is just filled with different colored pumpkins. And I think that this piece turned out so beautiful. I absolutely love the way that this looks and it just kind of like brings everything together. So I was really, really happy with how this turned out. Then over here in my kitchen bar area, I have all of my mugs out uh, for Halloween. And I actually have some up here in the cabinet as well. But these are the ones that we can like grab and use if we need to. And then I have my Mickey or Minnie Mouse towels and stuff that my friend Kim picked up for me while she was at Disney this past September. Alrighty, then over here on my island in the kitchen is where I decorated my two-tiered tray. I only did the two-tier this year because this is what was sitting here, and I think at the time I just didn't feel like pulling out my tall one. So this is what my tiered tray looks like on my island. The front of it looks so much better than the back of it, but I just kind of used what I had with me at the time. So, but I thought this just turned out really cute. I have a little candy corns inside of here and some pumpkins down in there. And then this has a little candle in it, like a votive. 
and it actually is lit up but you really can't see it because it's so bright in here but yeah there's my two tier tray all right then over here on this little shelf area i have some pumpkins down there on the very bottom and then i have just kind of pumpkins throughout this whole shelf display i have some of the halloween beads there that i did buy on amazon and i will link those in the description box below i came as a set of two and then i have some little spell books and a tree and a little cauldron and some pumpkins there some candy there and of course the salem broom company and some pumpkins and then of course more bats i would say this is my favorite item for halloween season this year and this is the bath and body works like candle holder it actually lights up and as you guys can see the baths just kind of float around in there it is super, super cute. I absolutely love that thing. And then I do have a candle on top of it with the little pumpkin magnet sitting on top of the pumpkin, or sitting on top of the candle lid. And then down here, I just have a bunch of other like pumpkins displayed. And that's pretty much what the theme is this year, is just a bunch of pumpkins. <laughs> and right here, I have a bunch of pillows. My Mickey pillow that I got this year from my friend Kim. And then you just kind of walk into the living room. And that's where I showed you guys all the other stuff. The pumpkins and stuff over here. And then of course all the stuff on the mantle. And this pumpkin stuff down here. Which I put together. It looks so pretty right there. And then of course all of the pumpkins that are up there by the TV on the mantle. Because that's all I can do with the mantle this year. I mean I might be able to hang some stuff from like underneath here. And that might be something that I work on at Christmas time. But for now that's what it looks like. And up above the refrigerator on top of the cabinets. This is what I have up there. Just a couple of little things. And then over here on this one, I have a plaque that says October 31st and some pumpkins and some Halloween stuff up there. And still looking above the cabinets, I have this over there. And then of course, if you turn the corner, then you have some pumpkins right there. And then as we move over this way, I just have a pumpkin sitting right there. And then I have this over here, these cute little pumpkins and then some little books up there. And this is over by my pantry. I have some of the little bats, and I will leave a link to those in the description box below too. These are the coolest little bats, and I just have them on my pantry door around this Halloween wreath, and I just think it looks so cool. Okay, so now we are up here in the theater room or media room, whatever you want to call it. And I have a few decorations up here, starting with this little pumpkin pillow sitting on the chair here. And then I have this little blanket sitting up here with my little Mickey pillow. I have my little witch's globe down there with some pumpkins and a little ghost. And this is the same thing that I did to our house last year and the years previous, is all this stuff was in our living room at the time. So I always had a pumpkin and of course one of these little pots behind there. And then my garland that I normally had hanging up on my fireplace mantle is now just hanging on the entertainment center. I have a couple more pumpkins right there and the same little thing right there on the speaker. And then of course the little kitty cat down here that I've always had. And then I have a couple of pumpkins right there as well. And then the October 31st little sign down there. And that is all I have for up here. All right, so this is my laundry room area. And back there, I just have a really cute like carrot patch sign that fit perfectly back there. And then I added a bunch of little pumpkins inside of the laundry room, plus the little hello fall pumpkin right there. And of course it just adds a little bit of Halloween and festivities in my laundry room. I absolutely love it. I love the way that my laundry room turned out, but this looks so cute with all of the pumpkins. 
Alrighty, so that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't a lot of Halloween decor, but like I said before, I just kind of want to pull out just enough to kind of make the house look really Halloween-y and festive and I'm hoping that my Christmas stuff I will be pulling out a ton more stuff maybe next year too I will have a lot more ideas to use for all of my Halloween decor this year it just was like so tight I'm trying to get all that stuff out but thank you guys so much for hanging out I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and the tour if you did huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my